My name is Jason Hughes. I'm a project manager at Ignition. Uh, and Ignition, we are a publisher that uh, we always have our eye on um, unique, really high quality games, and Muramasa is an excellent example for that. So, and um, you guys had a presence at E3 this year. That's correct. How was the reception at E3 this year for you guys? It was so exciting. Uh, it was our first E3. Uh, a lot of work went into, uh, in, into that presence, and the, re the response was phenomenal. We actually had uh, the head of Vanillaware, uh, George Kamatani. He's an amazing artist, and, and so much of this is, is right out of his brain and right out of his soul and his heart. Uh, he was there to actually meet with some of the fans and to, and to sign autographs, and that got us a lot of attention. We also had uh, a lot of awards, E3 awards. Uh, oh, so um, we ended up getting uh, Best Wii Game from, uh, from, from, from IGN, and, uh, and I know uh, um, G4 uh, for, for X-Play, they gave us uh, Best Wii Game as well. So uh, that gave us, uh, the response was really, was really positive, and we knew that was something special that people couldn't wait to get their hands on. Where did the idea of Muramasa come from? The storyline in and of itself is about a shogun that is going out looking for a bunch of swords that can allow him to pretty much take over the world or what have right. And you got two heroes, a girl and a guy, that both have interesting storylines within themselves, right. and they're out there to get the swords themselves to prevent the shogun from doing so. Where did that idea come from? Well, so much about the game is, I talk about graphics, a little bit about the gameplay, but another key point of the game is its roots in, in Japanese history and mythology. So um, the core the core inspiration of the game actually came from some kabuki plays from uh, from Japan. So a lot of everything, well, everything that you see in the game is historically accurate and has a place in uh, in, in in ancient in ancient Japan. So are uh, the two characters Kisuke and Momohime, uh, two ninjas on the run, uh, trying to solve problems with their past and and clear the names for themselves, uh, and that uh, the look at the, the woodblock paintings that are in Japan, um, the cultural things like, like I mentioned, the uh, uh, kabuki plays, right. that was the core inspiration. They wanted to do something that was distinctly Japanese. I see. Now, the Japanese culture is a rich one to begin with. And you, you mentioned the kabuki plays as one of the, the core um, sources of inspiration for the graphic design for the game. Right. And you were right. When I did actually get a chance to sit down with the game, one of the first things I noticed was how beautifully done, how beautifully, how beautifully graphically it was done. Um, what is probably for you one of the best aspects of Muramasa on the Nintendo League as far as gameplay is concerned? As far as gameplay, I like the, the sword variety. Mm -hmm. So there's 108 different swords that, uh, that you get throughout, throughout the game. Some that you, you get by beating, boss, uh, by beating bosses so you can pro progress in, in other areas. And uh, you also have to collect souls and you have to collect spirit. The game is called Muramasa. And Muramasa is a legendary um, forger. He's, uh, he, he creates the swords and, and you, you actually have a, an entire sword tree of, of what swords you can create when and when you want to forge those and what branch you want to upgrade on. So that element is, is particularly entertaining, especially since each sword has their own abilities, has their, uh, their own special features and their own special attacks. And sometimes they'll give you extra bonuses as well, like more experience points or more hit points, uh, in addition to how they, they actually play physically. So, to me, you play the game, it feels like, it feels like a painting. It, I mean, it, it really does to me. Uh, and I think a lot of you'll see is they have a, they're able to create such depth in a 2D game because of the different layers that they, that they use. There's some screens on here that have 10 to 12 unique layers that move at different speeds to help create the illusion of depth. So you can have items in front of you, you can have a, a foreground for your character, you can have background, and it can extend all the way into the background, even further into, into such great detail and, and distances. So that really gives you a very big depth to the world uh, while staying within its 2D genre. Now, 2D game, single player only. That's correct. Yes? Okay. Even though it is a single player game initially, I found that while I was playing the game, it was good to have a pair, another set of eyes to let me know where my sword durability was going to yes. break, why yes. I need to heal up. I mean, what about that when you were deciding that this is going to be a single player game? I think that the, uh, the fact that it is uh, a single, I know, I know what you're talking about, I've had yeah. some the back seat, uh, yeah. the back seat gamers who love to call it, you need to switch swords, you need to switch <laughs> swords, you need to switch swords, so um, I started to really kind of pay attention to that. But I think the, the experience itself, especially um, the, the way that the stories are, they are very solo experiences. They're, they're the, the detail and, the, uh, and, what the, and what the characters are actually going through is a very solitary kind of feel. 
So I actually think that that fits in with the single player gameplay. It, it makes you feel a little bit more alone, a little bit more in tune with what the story is, what these characters have to achieve, and, and where they are in the world. Okay. Any final words for our guests and the audiences out there? Just that you want to support 2D gaming, I love 2D gaming, we can always use more of it. I think this title is completely unique, it's exciting, the art, music, gameplay, the experience of Japan, this is the title to see it at, it's available now. Thank you very much Jason. Thank you very Thanks much.